Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Friday, June 14th. And those two ones place a one in box three, row three. I'll get a five actually right there. I have one, two, three fives looking into it. So five is in one of those two. One has no equivalent in column seven or nine. I can't do anything with it. In the middle rows, okay, I can place a six in one of two spots in row six. Three, four, seven, nine, two, five, eight appear once a piece in the middle three rows, and therefore I'm done. In the bottom three rows, I only have a repeat on the digit four, which I can place in the center of box eight, row eight. Now, if I switch to column scanning, I have a four there in those two spots. That places a four in two spots in column three, and as far as one and one there, we'll place a one along the left of column one, box four. In the right, I've got five, nine, one, three, seven, eight. So I'm done, and in the, on the, that was the middle, excuse me, on the right, I have a four, which is gonna end up there on the top, column nine, box three. I'll have a six appearing in the middle, off center to column eight. Beyond six and four, I have the digits seven, one, nine, five, two, uh, three, and eight, all appearing once each. So I'm done. Now, let's look at row three for a minute. I have one, four, five, seven, eight, nine. I need two, three, and six. They form a triple. Which I can now fill in. Uh, column one has four, five, six, eight, nine. I need one, two, three, and seven. I can go ahead and fill in those candidates. And this one is two, three, seven, it can't be one. Well, three crosses a region, which is moderately unnerving, but I somewhat knew that already. On the right, I'm gonna have a lot of help. I have two, three, five, six, eight, all given. So I need one, four, seven, and nine. That digit can only be one or seven. Uh, this, wait a minute, okay, this is four and nine, and this is four and nine. Well, I'll be darned. So these are four and nine. Four and nine are ruled out of both this one by box and this one by row. Okay, so that gives me six digits, of which I'm missing two, three, eight in box three, which I can go ahead and fill in. I need one, one, four, nine, so I need two, three, five, six, seven, eight, in some order for column eight. This one sees a lot of the digits. That one doesn't see quite as many, nor does this cell. And that one sees even fewer. Okay, these cannot be four, six, seven. Uh, actually, they can't be two, four, six, seven, nine because all of them appear in the box. So they are strictly out of one, three, five, eight. Eight's now in one of those two. Not necessarily. This could be eight. Actually, wait a minute. This this can't be eight because of this. So this cell can't be eight. Therefore, eight in the box must appear in one of these two cells. Therefore, this cell is not eight. And one of these two must be. Oh, one, three, seven, that's a triple. This is gonna end up as a five, eight pair in column seven. Uh, 
That gives four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one, two, three, and nine. Those are gonna be one, two, nine. And the right is done. I still have nothing pointing in. Oh, okay, these cells I can sort of figure out because none of them are one, three, seven, eight. Even though it just occurred to me, I have nothing in box eight. Okay, this is from two, four, five, six, nine, but it sees five, six, and nine. This is two or four only. Okay, these cells can't be one, five, nine. They are three, seven, or the even digits. Those aren't six, but beyond that, oh, that one still has six candidates in it. Okay, that was not terribly helpful. These are not one, four, five, eight. Those aren't six, and I have nothing useful beyond that. These cells are not one, four, six, nine. Those aren't five, that's not three, that's not eight. And again, I have nothing useful going on. That's an easily seen triple or something. These six digits cannot be three, seven, or eight. Okay, absolutely none of those are fives or nine. These ones both have a six in their row. That one has a four, that one has a two. Let's see, six, nine, and then I get rid of two, and this one just gets rid of a five. And so I have nothing useful going on there. Uh, these cells can't be five or six. Okay, the 137 here is going to do some work. Those can't be 1. And this can't be 1, 3, or 7. That's a 2. It's hidden. So that tells me a whole bunch of cells that can't be 2, namely that one. Uh, this is 7. That's forced to be a 1. This is a 3. If we're making that 2, these can't be 2 or 3. This is a, ends up as a 7-9 pair. That's a 6. Let's see. Absolutely none of those are 7. This isn't 2, as noted, and it can't be 3 or 7 either because of the triple. Okay, that forces 3 here, 7 there. This can't be 1 because of the 1 I just placed. That's a 2. Two in row three places six three, which will finish the row. The three in row one places the two and the eight and the three. In box three, this isn't two or three. That's not three. This is only four or seven, as far as possibilities. But the three in column eight is going to undo the triple in row six, which will finish column nine, except the four nine pair. Okay, two, five, six, that's now a triple. This is nine, that's one. This can't be six, this can't be six, or nine. Two, five, wait, well, means this can't be two, it's a four, and therefore that's a nine. Four's down to those two spots. These aren't two. The Four in box two places seven, eight, and two, which places nine, four, and the top rows are done. This can't be seven, that one must be. This can't be nine, that's a four. Let's 
let's see. Three eight pair in row five places the five in row five, which places the eight in column seven. Six nine. Uh, that's a five. This can't be. Eight places the nine in row four, and row four is done. Okay, I should have enough to be away at this point. Theoretically. Okay, these are one, three, four, seven, and this has to be one or three. It can't be anything else. Uh, but that's actually the four. Three, okay, this is two or eight, so this can't be eight. And therefore, must be five. That's a three. Eight, three, two, five, six, two, five, eight, two. This is seven. It can't be anything else. And now I'm just writing in digits. I'm left with a six and eight, and I know the order. And not quite 12 minutes. This is not too shabby. And so I don't enter in digits all that fast. But remember, I'm doing this one-handed. My right hand turns over all the way. My left hand, as you can see, does not. And I do not have a numeric keypad. So I think 10 to 15 minutes is pretty good. And if I can get it under 10, that's a stupendous time. But thank you for joining me this afternoon.